Hi, welcome to my video. My name is Ivory West. It seems that you and I have the same interest. That is how to convert Microsoft Mail from Windows to Mac Pro. I'm using Mac Pro OS X Yosemite. But this is applicable to uh, all your Apple uh, PC or computer or Mac computer and PC. Um, I am switching over from my PC uh, family to my Mac Apple family. So I'm in the process of setting up my Mac and I want to set it up so it's independent of the Microsoft products and my goal is to migrate the Microsoft Mail, Contact and Canon files from my window PC to my Mac Pro. Uh, from then on just using strictly Apple file system, the Apple Contact, Apple Mail and Apple Calendar. This way my iPad, my iPhone and my, my uh, Mac Pro will be all in sync with very little effort from my my part from now on. So actually um, when I first got the map I thought it was just a simple process to just to transfer the files over um, but it is not because because uh, of the file system between a uh, Mac and uh, Windows system is uh, uh, very different. So I looked around and research and found this product and and I, I really liked it uh, accomplished I really want what I really want to do and I want to share this information with you so what I use is I use the 8 proof.com uh, they have a product called 8 convert um, so before you download this version you need to find out is your what version of window you're using and what version of Outlook you're using. Okay. Then when you did that, you just um, you can just go and do the pull down menu and choose your operating system, window operating system, and your Outlook system. And this way you download the correct version to install on your PC. Okay, we did that. It's all downloaded in the default download folder. And then you install the A converter, A convert on your PC. Okay, by default, the program will be in in this directory here in the program directory. You see the A convert. This is where the program reside. And if you if the if you want to create a shortcut by all means but the shortcut should be installed on your desktop when you install the software anyway now it's all installed uh, I just want to point out another thing is another default directory is created by a convert is this directory called my underscore outlook files this is the location where all the files backup files will be stored created by a convert okay now we are going to call, call up the a convert program the very first page you will see is a convert ready to convert outlook mail email email attachment contact and or calendar appointments from a pc to a mac so what you do you just say next uh, this is where it's telling you where the, all the backup files will be saved, converted files will be saved. Okay, so you go next. Okay, this is where you get to select which email folder you want to co convert to be uh, transferred to the Mac environment. So you just check whatever you are desired uh, to be converted. For me, I have a lot of directory and I'm not going to do it here because it's going to take too much time but I did check everything here so the next one you want to go is the Outlook contact folder again uh, you select what you need to uh, what you want to co convert I also select everything 
this is how I organize all the contests with different folders, um, also different groups. So then you go to next, and this is where uh, they give you an um, option to convert your Outlook calendar to your Mac. So you want to select it's yes. And then here you get to select the type of files that you want to uh, save as a single uh, calendar file. And for me, I select the Apple iCal file because I am using Apple format file system. So you go to next. And then you can select, uh, I select to convert all appointments this way. I have a record if I need to look back on the um, calendar to look at back at the appointment. Next one they let you select is um, look up the email address if any invite is addressed to fewer than 10 invitees. I just left it at 10 because chances are I won't um, look into the invitees. But if it's important to you, you need to set to the value you want, okay? Then you go to next. Then it says, Outlook calendar is ready to be converted. Then you just start. And then it will um, convert everything. And this is what you see. Over here. These are the folders where everything is converted and saved here. Okay, so what I do now, I just copy those three folders onto a USB drive. Then I copy those files again, create a folder on Mac, and copy all those files into that folder. And then uh, through each um, Mac application, like Mac Mail, that contact and that calendar, I pull down the file menu bar and import the data to each of the applications separately. Now I am able to use all Mac products on my Mac without any Microsoft products. So um, this is a, a really a good software to use and get the job done. I highly recommend it and um, I hope you like it. I'm doing this because I'm setting up a new business and um, it's a uh, I'm with a very amazing team it really really unimaginable support to all of us and I'm seeing a lot of success already learning a lot also having success so if you're in, because I really believe a second income stream is uh, necessary for all household. A uh, 9 to 5 job is not going to uh, cut it. You need to have a second income stream. And if you are interested in seeing what I'm doing, please click on the link below and you'll be able to get more information and see if it is for you. And uh, I see you in my next video. Thank you for visiting.